Now to our big story tonight, an Uber driver out of the driver's seat and in the hot seat tonight there a cuss after a customer says he shouted anti gay slurs and nearly ran him over with his car. It's a story you'll only see on News Channel 3. It happened outside a popular gay bar in Midtown this weekend. WRG's Michael Quander explains why Uber says its driver may not have been completely in the wrong and a story you'll see only on Channel 3. As the music played inside of Drew's place on Madison, people leaving Friday night heard something much more explicit. As I sat down, he said, uh, it, no food in my car. Ray Rico says that came from his Uber driver when he got in a car with a box of pizza. He starts cussing at me again and he says, you suck my Rico canceled the ride and got out of the car, but when he called for another Uber, he says the same man showed up again. Different profile, different picture, no car on the, on the profile on the app. That's when he was able to snap these pictures of the license plate and this screenshot of the driver's profile. Rico claims the driver threw his car in reverse and then backed into him. Hear something like that happen here right outside the building. That was uh, a little disturbing. Tammy Montgomery owns Drew's place and says what Rico says happened is unacceptable. There's no room for that in Midtown. Uh, we don't we don't need people like that on the streets providing that type of service. That's why Uber currently has the driver off the streets until they're able to get to the bottom of what happened. A spokesperson said in a statement, the reported conduct has no place on the Uber platform and we're reviewing both parties involvement in the matter. I don't know if you know if he had a problem with gay people while he was picking up from a gay bar. Now, while Uber can't say exactly what went down inside of the car, their tracking system claims the driver picked up a different customer in the area and never attempted to pick up Rico again. Still, a police report was filed and the incident remains under investigation. Reporting in Midtown, Michael Quander, WREG, News Channel 3. Now, as you know, there are always two sides to every story. We reached out to Memphis police, and while they confirmed that a police report may have been filed, they were not able to locate a copy ready for release. And the Tennessee Equality Project released this statement about the incident, saying in part, Mr. Rico's experience is an outrageous assault on his safety and dignity, and therefore an assault on all LGBT Memphians.